touched a little bit on the last video about how I had a friend who couldn't make herself say the words that she didn't believe. And um, so if you haven't seen that, go watch that one first and then come back to this one because they kind of got to go together. And um, But if you can get yourself to say the words, then you're one step closer to manifesting that as a reality for yourself because you can't get anywhere until you believe that you can get there. Um, the very first and foremost thing in getting what you want, in our case of this challenge is confidence, is believing that it's possible for you. If you don't think it's possible for you, you're never gonna find it, you're never gonna get there. Um, so believing you can is the first, the first step. And um, affirmations can really help us bridge that gap between the not believing and the believing and the getting. So what you want to do is find some affirm. Okay, what are affirmations for one? Because a lot of people aren't familiar with them. But affirmations or mantras, they're the same thing. When you hear um, the term mantras or affirmations, they're the same, more or less. Um, but there's sentences or statements or phrases that can be used to program your mind in a certain way. And you're gonna see the, you're gonna see most of them start out with I am, because there's power in the I am. Whatever you believe you are is what you are. And um, so you wanna pick a couple of affirmations that feel true to you, that you want to be true about you, that's in the right direction of where you want to go, that you can start telling yourself every time doubts or fears or anxieties arise. Um, for example, one of the ones that I like to use that's gotten me through a lot of hardships is I am a badass. So I can be completely terrified shaking sweating don't want to do the thing like you know for example go speak on stage like oh my gosh mm, not into it not don't want to but before i get up there i will psych myself out i'm like i'm a badass i'm a badass i'm a badass <laughs> and you just think about it and you try to embody the words okay so think of what you want to be who you want to be and turn it into a phrase that can get you a little bit closer to that. Um, they come in all shapes and sizes. Like you can have an affirmation that's three sentences long. I mean, sure. Why not? Um, you know, I am awesome. I speak my truth. I am thankful for this, I live in gratitude, I, I make the best deal out of situations, I, you know, whatever it is that you want to be, do, or have, formulate your affirmations around that. Um, I used to be terrified to drive. I would have panic attacks every time I got behind the wheel. I did not drive unless I absolutely had to, and even then, it, I was very strict about um, only driving on places in places that I knew and uh, I would rearrange my whole life and schedule to get somebody else to drive me somewhere so somewhere else um, but affirmations were a really big part in me getting past that and now I can drive anywhere I like and um, I'm a badass was the affirmation that helped me get through that um, you think of uh, when I would play it in my head, I would think of like the Fast and the Furious and how cool they are and whatnot and how I liked that kind of lifestyle from a distance, <laughs> you know, in the movie and whatnot. And I would just imagine that I was one of them or whatever, whatever, while I was repeating the affirmation to myself. And um, you kind of eventually start embodying that. So the more that you put it out there, the more it's going to come back to you. Um, take it, words have vibrations. 
and you want to pick some words and some phrases that associate the vi or are the same vibration radiate the same vibration as your where you're trying to go uh, a really good exercise that I have everybody do all of my clients is you take a piece of paper or open a word document or however you like to journal and write down your ideal vision of what you want your life to look like uh, what you want your day just a play-by-play -play on your ideal day what do you do for a living how do you dress how do you eat how do you feel how do you look what do you do like all the things every little detail you can think of and then that's where you start okay because you don't you can't get to where you're going until you know where it is you're going right you don't get in the vehicle and just well some people do just drive around but um most of the time when you get in the vehicle you have a destination in mind right well this is the same thing we can't uh arrive at our destination until we know where that is and um yeah in this in this uh challenge we're working on confidence in particular but that's just one piece of the puzzle that is you in your life and it's a huge puzzle so doing the exercise where you're writing out your ideal life and what you want because knowing what you want is often the hardest thing in getting it and <clears throat> so doing the exercise every now and then like quarterly would be good um, at least twice a year probably every six months because you know ideals change and things change and life changes and what you want today might not exactly be what you want later or um, later you may be more defined and clear playing off of where you started um, so do that exercise every now and then and take that and formulate your affirmations from it. For example, if you want to uh, start eating better, eating healthy, organic, whatever, um, vegan, then you can, you know, write that out in your ideal life, you know, make that part of it. And then you want to also feel at peace in your body and in your life and your mind and your soul, uh, less anxiety, um, strong confident when you speak to people and in your professional life then you're going to formulate your affirmations to say things like um so i eat well um if you're not eating well it's going to be a lie and your soul your mind kind of like rebels against that it's like eh, i don't like that um uh, what you what it would be a better solution is um I am or I desire to eat well and then you can move from that to um, I'm beginning to learn how to eat well uh, I'm doing better in eating well until you finally arrive at the affirmation of I eat well and confidence is the same thing um, I am confident might not be a great affirmation for you if you don't believe it but I desire to be confident is true right or you wouldn't be here um, I am learning to be more confident I have the ability to be more confident uh, my anxiety does not define me I will not be controlled by my anxiety I am stronger than my anxiety I am stronger than my fears I am stronger than my doubts um, or my insecurities. My insecurities do not define me. I choose who I am. Uh, I believe that I can be who I would like to be. Uh, you can go on for ages with this and once you really get into it and understand how they work, then you really can do anything you want with these affirmations and steer yourself towards uh, the person that you want to be. So I really hope this was helpful. Drop some affirmations in the comments and let us know what you're working with, what you're working towards. If you have any questions, let us know and we'll, you know, reach out to us and we'll help where we can with that. Um, I know in the beginning of this video, it was a little like back and forth and stuff, but uh, 
I just get up here and start talking about a specific topic. So sometimes it takes me a second to get going. Anyway, I digress. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. Drop your affirmations. Like, comment, share. Add your friends to the group. You know, whatever, whatever, whatever all the stuff. Sharing is caring. And I'll see you later.